This is me getting weird with it. I am going to be making pork chops. Well, it's because I was watching a video. Just can't see the beauty of the internet that I'm in. My underwear, holy cow. This might not be on camera. Upload, but whatever. So, quick thingy. Okay. So, I decided to be less than smart. Hold on, I need more lighting. Because I'm so conceited like that. Not really, but I kind of am. Okay. So, less than smart of me that I try to do is to make um, pork chops, but I didn't really make them the right way. Why didn't I was like, you know what would be a great idea if I did what Rachel Ray does and make some pork chops because half of me was cute, half of me was not cute about it because the half not cute was like, has, I have to be smart about it. So that's doing that. This is boiling. This is, I'm seasoning these pork chops where you guys can definitely see my underwear now. Stop that. I'm seasoning these pork chops. I mean, just, oh no, you guys are looking at everything of my life. Whatever. So I'm seasoning these pork chops over here. Whatever. I'm seasoning. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. So I'm seasoning these pork chops over here, and yeah. So I'm using these seasonings to season them. And don't ever push this button on the microwave. It's a defrost button. Are you smelling my ass? It's a defrost button. <sighs> so I found out the defrost button. If you could press auto. You can um, let it auto itself. Like, if you press auto and then put numbers in it, it like lets you to check if it's how many pounds, whatever. Like, if it checks how many pounds it is, if it, the, what, apparently the microwave has a scale on itself. But not really. You just press how many pounds. You put it in the microwave and boom. It always says pounds on the labels. Like, why is this not hanging up? Okay, it's hanging up. Slowly. Is this thing on too? What? Oh. It's on super low, but yeah, you press that and it'll heat up by itself and all that jazz. But if you don't press that, you can also press time and see how many times you want. But I did at least two or three times before I actually press the auto button, and the auto button magically hit 18 minutes. But right now, what I'm doing is putting seasoning on these and then I'm going to make this oh, it's cooking. and then I'm going to make this instant Mexican sopa lecheras con tomate tomato based alphabet soup that's what it is in English so I'm going to bake this and cook this hopefully I don't kill everything this is left from the house party so that's cooking now. I actually have to go put on a t-shirt right now, even though I just have my own pants, my, my underwear. I try to go put on a t-shirt right now because I was like, oh, I'm gonna totally burn myself. Oil pops everywhere, you know, and stuff. So I don't want to die. So I definitely did that. Oh shit! Um, things are happening. Uh, I didn't quite. Season it right. Because then the season thing, do you know these things right here? This is for the little sizzle. This is for a lot. I didn't notice that because I was in a hurry and a lot of it came off on one pork chop. But uh, in this house, the house of being poor, we don't waste food because just don't. So you got to eat it all. So this is what I did. I just like, grab two pork chops together and smother them up and share that pepper. Oh, God. And then I heard Rachel Ray say on the thing right now that you will know by the smell, the nose knows, so the nose knows, and you'll know by cooking it. She said, don't flip the pork chops too fast because the meat will tear, it will stick to the pan, and it'll, it'll be totally wrong. So just, just don't do that. Don't. Just stick to what Rachel Ray is telling you. And do the right thing, okay? Okay. Now, side note. I'm not a big fan of pork chops at all. My grandma Donna, she always made pork chops with everything. I mean, it's okay because we're poor, but not that I'm rich now or anything. Because definitely not. story time. One time, I made chicken for the first time, chicken breast, 
and bought it for myself, and obviously we got them. And then, um, you want to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I put in the water, let it sit for about 30 minutes, because I think I read that on the internet somewhere, Google, or text somebody. But then I called my mom, because I baked, I cooked it on the stove, and it was, yay, Instagram the meal, God, so you know it's official. And then, and then, I opened it with a little knife and fork, and it was definitely not done. Oh, wait, I think it's done. The nose knows? The nose knows it's done! Oh, God. Things are happening. Things. Ooh, look at that. Let's go pretty. Can you tell? You can't really see because it's pretty crap of quality. And then, I'm going to open this up. Okay? Okay. Oh, God. This is turning into the biggest mess. Okay, it's just coming out down. Hopefully I don't have to add anything. I don't think I do. And then, oh, it looks like some spices came with that. Okay, okay. Nose, nose. I like Rachel and said. Okay, so we're just going to smother that in there. Yes, I washed my hands before I did this. It's done. Ow, ow! And it is done. Let's just let that out of here. Ah! Let's just get that out of here. Fuck. Damn it. Ow. Okay. We're just going to get that out, right? Okay. <gasps> so pretty. My mom right away. From that story, I called my mom and was like, Oh no, I'm going to kill myself. This is Walmart. I think I bought it from Walmart or Kroger's. Sold me nasty meat. And she was like, Why? What's wrong? I was like, Because it was definitely blood. In the middle, I'm like, Am I going to die? I'm going to die, right? I'm definitely going to die. She's like, No. Stupid, motherly love. I, but I didn't die, thankfully. <laughs> That's stupid. Why would I die? She was like, No, you're not gonna die. So, yeah, didn't die, cause I'm still here being a fool. So I have, I just wasted all. Oh, <gasps> fuck! Do you see that? That is all pepper from talking to you guys. This is what happens. I don't know how Richard Reed does it. So this is what I did the first time. I just grabbed them. I just went like this. I mean, if anything fails, I'm still going to have to eat it. Because remember, like I said, we don't waste food in this house. We will still eat it because we're about that thug life. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, cooking with me, eating this in my freaking man. Ooh, 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 ooh. It looks really pretty. If this camera wasn't so, this camera wasn't so crappy, you would be able to see what a pretty little pork chop I just made. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Garden show with the dog treat. That's not happening. Don't you think this is a dog treat, Lucy? This is not a dog treat. This is a dog treat. No, this is not a dog treat. My grandma always says, guys have this habit. She always yelled at me and my grandpa. Whenever that was my grandma when I was younger, she would always say that guys have this habit that they just like love to have the heat. See that bubble? They just like love to have the heat like super high when they cook. And she's like, God damn it. You guys just love to have this fucking heat all high. There's oil all over my goddamn fucking stove. Not a bad word. Sorry, kids don't want to. Just quoting my grandma. Love you, grandma. So that's burning. This is, and I'm cooking all these pork chops because I was like, oh, I'll just leave some for later. But I'm like, I'll just cook it now. So then it'll be lunch, breakfast, dinner, and stuff. Well, not breakfast, I have eggs and stuff. But if you like to take for lunch, and then, you know, you don't have to waste money on lunch. Got to think economically because I'm single. Got to do single things like save money. So, got to have to see my Disney addiction and my dog. By the way, look at this cute little dog thing I got. It's a dog treat. It's a little bacon treat. There's a little dog treat in there. And it smells. A dog treat. I need to get a garbage bowl. Like Rachel Ray, she has a garbage bowl for life. I need one of those so I can be a real chef and have a talk show. That is not supposed to be like that. That happened all on its own.
There's like an exorcist in here and he's like, you know what that is? That's a fire alarm. A fire alarm just came down all by itself. And I was like, what's going on with life? What is life? And that happened. Great. Great life skills, apartment living. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna grab some alphabet soup and see how horrible this tastes. Because I have a feeling it's gonna taste great. Let's see what the taste of failure tastes like. Well, I don't know because I shouldn't have put the soup in there with the pork chop because now the flavor from the pork chop probably went into the soup, but whatever. I hate it. it doesn't taste so bad. It tastes good. And I can tell this the soup, the soup, savory, tastes like a lot of sodium. Like, I'm just ready to die. Wait, now let's see how this pork chop tastes. That's great. It actually doesn't taste bad at all. Mm. Definitely see something my grandma would make. Yeah, hope you liked this weird impromptu. Let me show you how to cook or not. If you like more of these videos, like up, subscribe, comment below, follow me on all the social networks because I'm on everything like a stalker, like a creep that I am. And we can all just be friends. And um, so you see you guys next time. Don't forget to smile. Ah. Burn myself. Mm -hmm. Don't burn yourself. Don't forget, Lucy, you had the food already. Mm -hmm.